Back in the good old days, the world practically ran on sperm whale oil. Now we can only watch them from afar, dreaming of tapping their skulls for all that sweet spermaceti. <laughs> what? But with that, we are now the new Apex Predator, and there is nothing out there that can stop us now. I don't think there's even uh, an Apex like over here in Crawfish Bay. It's probably Crawfish, to be honest. Um, okay, so I don't see any exclamation marks. We could also check over here, but it doesn't look like we have any story-related missions at the moment. So if I give it a moment to load, Maybe we'll get it. We shall see. Or maybe I'll just go back home to rest. We're mega. We're insanely powerful, and now we're loading. We're loading an area. Thank As we you. face impending resource scarcity and declining living standards, it's nice to know that in the meantime, there's still a place to get a good bamboo fusion massage. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered call. That is if I don't get stuck. Okay, so uh, we just got a new uh, organ, and that comes in the form of some liminal evasion. So normal hostile wildlife uh, will be neutral to me. So this means like uh, the barracudas and the muscle lunges that kept attacking us. So they're neutral to me. And I don't... What does upgrade? I guess... Oh! That's really nice, actually. You know what? I'll just upgrade that all the way. That would be pretty good to have, just to have, you know, enemies step the hell off of me. So, level 5. Yeah, fish that are 90% of my size are neutral to me. Sure, I could take that, just getting to places. I would have to probably do it in exchange for one of these. Did I not have this equipped? I totally didn't. I accidentally equipped this one, and I wasn't on land once. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, someone probably is annoyed by that. Sweet. Okay. Well, uh, can I upgrade my 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 whole my head? Yes, I can. Okay, I can do it again. But that's it. Cool. So we're nearly completely decked out. I still can't upgrade my. Ugh. Oh, I can't. It's just I have to use my minerals for it, and I don't want to. Uh. Okay. Let's take a look then. Nothing. Nothing on that front. Uh, maybe I just have to just wait a little bit. Yes, it's quite beautiful here. Unfortunately, bull sharks can't see color. What? Okay, that was really weird. Why did it say that I just entered the <laughs> caviar key again? All right. Uh, well, I honestly have no idea what to do. Where do I go? Why don't you come up there and... Uh, never mind. I'm not going to go that way. What? Is part of the grotto in caviar key that's so janky that's so jankies you know maybe we should explore this area just because that might give us something to do for a spell i'm gonna go and set that as my waypoint and we'll just collect things as we go so you're over there i'm the ultimate apex and uh welcome to man eater folks this is basically just the series of me word vomiting and just playing this game because I felt like it one day, and now I feel obligated to finish. But also because it's pretty easy achievements, and I gotta catch up on my pods, you know? Have you guys listened to anything good lately? I guess at this point it would be too late to ask, but... It, it might depend, even, on if I even release this before the DLC comes out. <laughs> Something tells me maybe not. But, we'll see. Oof, Jesus. Alright, well, there's still plenty to grab here. These are basically useless at this point, unless they give me only minerals, but I'll, I'll grab it, I guess. Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark. And uh, basically everything else. What is this? Ooh. Eat it. Port Clovis has long been a popular dumping ground for the military, thanks to its lenient regulations and low tipping fees. Yeah, sure. Whatever that means. You know, maybe I had this problem the first time I played this too, because I remember having trouble finding the last instance of Scaly Pete and then not being able to do anything. And I was like, well, I 100%ed every area basically, so why, why is this an issue right now? You dig? So we'll leave that right there. 
And let's go to the old Crawford key. That red arrow was really angry. Okay, so I'm assuming those were people that wanted to kill me. Oh, here we go. What is this? What is this? Did I go past it? To see this area is to witness go. the inability of the hydrosphere to support the... If a T-Rex is your favorite dinosaur, then you're boring and unoriginal and you need to pick a different favorite dinosaur. True. Very true. I couldn't name a replacement off the top of my head, but yes, T-Rex definitely not my favorite. <laughs> uh, actually, I would have to think about that. I have no idea what it would be. All right, well, I have to kill 10 here. I thought I had to only kill five. Damn it. And not even, like, kill them. I have to eat them. All right, listen here, human. Or stalk their prey, fully aware of the grisly horrors that await them upon a scene. Yeah, please don't, please don't shoot me. I'm sorry. Don't don't we need a little bit of population control over here? There's so many people swimming. Poor Clove has really been spouting up these past few years. Put some of my own money in this. Gonna be a lazy tag fun part. Oh, this? On the water? Do you think that's really a good resource of your time and money? <laughs> Is to put a laser tag park there? Unless I guess you're doing it in the water or it's shark themed. But, I don't know. Shark anything these days probably be good. Alright, I'm here. This place is kind of creepy. This has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. Yeah, I need to find my grotto. So let's, let's just collect a couple things here and there. This is a little mini area. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, a lot of this was saved uh, for the DLC maybe? I don't know. We're, we're doing it now, though. Shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. Ah, yes, very selective feeding. And because we could have come here much sooner, excuse me, uh, enemies here generally are a little bit weaker, so. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. Oh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> there goes my second license plate of the hour. <laughs> Soon to be third. Don't worry, I, I hate myself, too. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, what is this? Can I find my... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, perfect. All right, in we go. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. Indeed. Okay, so I can take that off. Do I just need to keep doing missions until I'm done? Or do I need to kill something? I must... I wonder if I have to you know get all the hunts finished too because that would be really stupid right i'm not i'm not just talking out my ass here um you know i'm trying to consider what how do i unpoison this does that ever get undone that's so bizarre i don't get it there's a ton of stuff over here too but i'm sure they're in the the, the sewer system Shoot, all right, well, let's just keep doing some of this, I guess. Reef chow fun. What? A, it's a revenge. All right, I'm down for a good old bit of revenge, you know? Okay, okay. Sharks have good vision in the night. That's good. The air has a distinctive smell. That of sea salt, nitrogen oxides, and an intriguing bouquet of volatile organic compounds. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so, um... Yeah, I was I was kind of under the impression that maybe we were going to, uh, you know, be fighting Scaly Pete at this time. But I'm not entirely sure what triggers it at this point. And I'm not about to go Google it in the middle of recording. God knows I've done other terrible things while that camera's been rolling, but not right now. Not doing that. I will not be fact-checked. I will not be made a fool. <laughs> I will continue in my ignorance and I'll keep being a freaking badass. Alright, so we got a couple of divers here. And uh, they're not down. They're not down. Alright, listen up, fellas. You're level 12. You really you really think you'd take me out? In real life, I'd be like a level 66. You know? Oh, oh geez. Oh. Yeah, you guys are not even hurting me at all. <laughs> Alright, last one. And... The university sends their students out here every summer to study the reefs. Shit. Guess we all got different ideas about summer fun, yeah? Ah, uh, yeah, summer reefs. Um, so we have this here. Should we, should we dive down? 
Let's see. Anything in here? Oh my god, more divers. What are you doing down here? Spelunking and whatnot. Get over here. This shark is a sort of super scout. Completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. Yes, that one. All right, anything else? Another one right there? Dude. And then more right there. I'm just going to probably see if I can just get all my revenge done. I'd have to go back over here too. It'll pop. I feel like it was completely random when Scaly P came. All right, where are we going? Where are we going next? Let's go this way. Ooh, what's that? Are you something I need to eat? Oh my god, a hunted sperm whale. Level 55. What do the numbers even mean nowadays? Is it anything? <laughs> Because at this point, it just seems kind of frivolous to bother. Also, your friend's on me now. All right, listen up. Me and you, I, I I got no beef with you whatsoever. And I get it. You're a sperm whale, so it doesn't inherently apply. But at the same time, I would appreciate it if you could, you know, maybe call your friends off and maybe stop attacking me. You're level 55, but what does that, what does that mean? What does that translate to? Why, why, why must we be at odds like this? Why must we have interspecies conflict? The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's fins. I don't know, man. But at the end of the day, we got we got the same fins and gills, all of us. There we go. Give me all that. Give me. Okay, no minerals whatsoever. Damn it, Marie. Okay, so we're technically 49% way done with this area, so maybe if we get over 50%, we'll be good. Knowing this game, they're gonna say, no, you need to get to 90% or something, you know? All right, so some orcas. I'm gonna probably end up heading into another, excuse me. Are these your friends? God damn, all right. Ugh. Just let me finish up here. Those sewer lines need work. I've had campylobacteriosis, cryptosporidiosis, leptospirosis. Let me tell you, bud, that ain't no joke. We gotta get out of here, dude. Save me. Oh, Pete's bigger boat. Yes. Sea sponges' demand for pineapple homes has sparked massive deforestation throughout Costa Rica. But being brainless, sponges rarely weigh the consequences of their buying decisions. Yeah, these guys are out for blood. <laughs> I'm getting out of here, dude. Yeah, get out of here, man. You just gotta be somewhere else. I gotta go home, dude. Okay, my batteries are low. Well, it's a good thing we're probably like 80 minutes from the end of the game. Jesus. Ugh. Okay. Right next to home, thank God. Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to go home. And I'm going to wait just a second for things to cool down out there. It'll probably be faster just to wait. Nobody can say we didn't try. <laughs> it seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark. For now. For now. All right. Here we go. The shark a peek returns at Pete's once boat. again to her safe haven. And anything else you might need at this point, go ahead and take now. Because we're about ready to get into yet another fight with a massive boat, let's go ahead and upgrade this. We'll only be able to do it once, but 500, not that bad. Plus now it's level 4, finally, and... We can do it. So, oh, Pete's crew, me and you, buddy. It's time to end this. Yes, I am excited. Okay, it only took an hour of game time to do it since I started, but goddamn. Pete has a new boat, and from the looks of it, there are several features probably not legal for civilian use. So you found me. So what? Uh, Pete, I, I don't know what all this is, but you're scaring us. <laughs> what you gotta be scared about? You a shark? Uh, Pete, I don't want to, but I, I think we need to get the police, maybe the Coast Guard involved. You think I'm crazy? No, no. I'm the same man you ever seen. Look, I didn't get it easy. But when something 
Some shark. Take everything I got. I'll give her the same chance she gave my boy. None! Now get the f*** off my boat before I kill you too. The f*** I say! Hope you got a hunger on! We serving shark ain't too fair tonight! Ooh. Pete has built an impressive battleship. But will it be enough to endure the prehistoric might of a mega shark? Um, it might, but I don't know why you're making me go all this way in order to do it. It's gonna take us to the far reaches of the gulf, but because we needed to be level 30 to get here, I find it very hard to believe that anyone who's beaten this game was not level 30 at this point. And this is going to be our final fight. And of course, the game has been handing us the the bone suit, basically, specifically for this. And it's kind of annoying. Let's see if I remember how to do it. Uh, but that is it. We're, we're, we're just about there. No way to get much stronger unless we wanted to get a bunch of minerals. But it's not inherently worth it, I think. So without further ado, Scaly Pete. Hello there, girly. As you can see, I came prepared today! Hell yeah. Oh no! No! I'm a fix real bird. No! Of course it had to happen! Ugh. This is dumb. Alright, we're just we're just we're doing the thing again. I should probably just cut, but you need to suffer with me, you know? Each year, North American offshore drilling rigs leak about 880,000 gallons of oil into the sea, leaving it for marine wildlife who know nothing about running a profitable energy company. <laughs> oh man, that is so sadly true. I am not a fan of that notion, but um, yeah, take two of getting to Scaly Pete and probably seeing that terrible cutscene animation. and. Then we'll have beaten the game. Atlantic spades have little to no commercial value, which accounts for their relatively healthy population numbers. Oh, interesting. All right, well, I'm ready for the series to come to an end. I don't know about you guys, but this one has certainly been much more off the cuff than I normally am, so this is not an indication of how my content usually is. Boy, that's Scaly Pete, it's me and you, and that yacht in the background. Hello there, girly. As you can see, I came prepared today! Uh, were you expecting me to understand all, any word of that? Um, <laughs> okay, so things are going to be a little bit different in this fight. It's essentially the same, but we have electrical pyrons we need to destroy now before we can do anything else. So there's hunters on board that are going to shoot us, and what we need to do is destroy these before they electrocute us. So let's just go ahead and oof, do some of that business. Or we could do this too. Ugh. Ugh. Give me that. Look at the size of her. There we go. Yeah, so destroy the cage and Steely Pete from here. Steely Pete. Scaly Pete. Eh. 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 What are you doing? Oh, there we go. Good sign. Good sign of things to come. Ugh. So, this entire boat would be electrocuted if you were not careful. Um, hello. More reinforcements? Where'd they come out of? Okay, well now we have to defeat the hunter boats. I forgot about that. All right, listen here. Get out of the boat, please. Or you can give me some health and also regenerate my powers, my activeness. There we go. There we go. Okay, there's one. Let's go over here. You're throwing bombs. Yes, do it. <laughs> And stop going into the the <laughs> the barrier there. Hi, hello. I'm gonna break dance all over your shoulders, just like Pixel <laughs> to, to me that one time. <laughs> what was I even playing? Was that Mafia? That was hilarious. Ugh. God damn. Can you like slow down? Slow down, bright eyes. There we go. Ooh. Hi. You gave me an explosion. That's nice. Well, there we go. <laughs> okay. This is a. Uh, Easily the most annoying part of the fight. I I, I I can see here now. It's level 48 ass skiffs. There we go. All right, last one. There you go. That's where you were the entire time. 
All right, so upon defeating these guys, we will be able to bring the fight back to Pete. And it's time. Here we go, Pete. Me and you, buddy. No remorse. This is where it ends. You're gonna be sorry. I suppose there's a lesson to be gleaned here. Something about how the increasing commodification of the natural world has placed humans on a collision course with an environmental apocalypse. But this is a basic cable show where people tune in to watch sharks kill people and people kill sharks. So until next fishing season, this is Man Eater. So I guess I can skip the credits. All right, congratulations. I have finished the main story and I may continue to eat, grow, evolve. Yes, eat, grow, evolve, my favorite phrase. And it took me, whoa, I didn't realize that I actually saved our progress. Cool, so we did it in five hours. Nice. Yeah, you can definitely tell where it started getting a little bit iffy for me, but after party. This is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. Indeed. So what is After Party? That's weird. I guess that's just episode 9. Alright, well, um, that does it for Man Eater. I think we're completely done here. Next time on the game, uh, I do think there is going to be a continuation because if you guys missed it, there is a $15 DLC coming out called uh, the, the Truth of something I don't remember I didn't look into it it might be a new region it might be an island but it's $15 and I'm expecting there to be a decent load of content because I think this game is only 30 maybe it launched at 40 I don't know I, I bought it for 30 but it's on game pass and I doubt that the DLC will actually be you know $30 or he was in the window the entire time by the way and during that cutscene he came out and now he's snuggling with me we had this is this is the series where we did the ASMR with Ori, isn't it? Here, you know what? Thank you so much for watching, Man Eater. I'm gonna go 100% the rest of this while catching up on, uh, you know, top-down perspective. Uh, what else? What else do I listen to? Probably Mark Marin and also Armchair Expert. There's been some good stuff there, especially with Armchair in Dangerous with David Fillier. Dak Okay, I'm done. Here's here's Ori licking my hand.